What's up, football fans? I'm Al Pops, and we're back with the Future Stars game founder and Team Georgia director, Ballister Wilson, along with Team Florida director, Fahim Ali. We're breaking down the keys to the game for each age group, starting with Georgia's eighth grade offense. Ballister, what are the strengths of Georgia's eighth grade offense? And then Fahim, tell us what Florida's eighth grade defense is bringing to the table. From the offensive standpoint, you've got to start with probably one of the kids that's going to be one of the top players in the country, Enrico Fry running back. And when you talk about the running game, you've also, you've got to have a line that can make holes for him. So I think they're very strong on the offensive line with Rico and some of the other running backs, Cameron Gales. The running game is going to be very strong. And that opens up passing game for what I feel may be the best quarterback in the country for a class of 2017 in Trevor Lawrence. And uh, so it's just going to be a it's very exciting. I tell, exciting you, what, I tell you what, this is the thing. See, yeah, I understand that. You know, <laughs> they got the running back. They said they got the, the, uh, the old line. But guess what? With the defensive line and the linebackers we have, we're going to plug it. We're not going to worry about anything. You got the number one, I think, the number one defense in the nation, which is Nicholas Bonito, who stands at 6'3", and he's going to come around the corner. I don't know what you guys are going to be able to do about it. Then you have uh, Geno Smith, his, co his cousin, uh, Christopher Smith. He's short. He's fast. He's very fast. And, uh, you, know, I, you know, you may have those big guys, but one thing I know, speed kills it all. Then you got it all linebacker position. You got Big Abraham. Uh, you got Kevin Hart, you got uh, Marlon Pelote. So uh, just across the board, you guys are going to have to bring it because we're plugging everything that's coming through. It's certainly going to be a battle. Now let's hear about Florida's eighth grade offense and then Georgia's eighth grade defense. Florida eighth grade offense, man, he's starting off right now. To Terrius Tutu at will. I love him at quarterback. Uh, you can actually put him anywhere, but at quarterback, he's a running gun. He's they call him Mr. Pop Warner in Florida. And I think when they have a beast there, but not only that, you're looking at big Sammy Llewellyn. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, he is one specimen that I think that fits the, the word running back. Or you can say running back curve, because he's going to be running down those guys back, and I don't think they're going to be able to stop him. So as in uh, the threat, we have all the speed on offense, uh, from quarterback to wide receiver to running back. Uh, they're going to have to have some speed to actually catch up with the guys. All right. I mean, that's, that's nice. I think the biggest strength of any of the teams I've seen is probably going to be the Georgia eighth grade defensive line with, as you all know, Rillis Booman, George, Marcus Chapman. Those guys on the defensive line are phenomenal. They've dominated all-star games and all-star teams all over the country. That defensive line is very, very special, and they're going to stop a running game. So that's going to have it up in the air trying to throw the ball, and that's where I think Georgia has really good strength. Derek Allen at safety. He's a nightmare back there. He's a ball hawking safety that plays sideline to sideline, and I think they have two of the, lock, the best corners. Definitely Tyus Dewberry is one of the best corners I've seen uh, in our trials in several years. Him and Omar Sinclair on the corners. So it's going to be a really good matchup. The eighth grade game, I can tell you, I don't know who's going to win, <laughs> but I'll tell you what, that can match in a high school game yes. you're going to see in the country with the Get talent. Get your popcorn, folks. There.